What does it take for an unlimited hydroplane to go 200 miles per hour during a race? Lots of work during the off-season. That is exactly what is happening at the Unlimited Racing Group shop near Seattle, Washington, home of the U11 Peters and May. In this episode, we learn how the boat works. Hi, I'm Tom Thompson, driver of the GBR11 Peters and May Unlimited Hydroplane. Amazing part about these boats, they're 30 feet long, 14 and a half feet wide, weighing almost 7,000 pounds. The turbine engine that propels it creates approximately 3,000 horsepower and allows these boats to run at speeds over 200 miles per hour. There's a shaft that runs out of the engine into a gearbox. It runs to the back of the boat. A prop is on the back of that shaft. And that's what makes the boat go. The idea is to keep the boat off the water as much as possible, but not too far, obviously. The hydroplane is designed to run on three points, the back of each sponson, which are the canoes on the side, and on the very back tip of the boat. When this is being done, the boat's being held by the driver controlling a front canard, the adjustment that's on the rear wing, and the turn fin that's on the side of the boat. The two wings keep the boat balanced and hopefully allow the driver to control how far it is off the water. And then the turn fin, a big piece of metal on the side of the boat, is what causes the big rooster tail when a boat goes into a turn and it keeps the boat flat on the water but allows the boat to go around the turn. One of the many things that are involved in making a boat run and perform the top expectations is the computer system that's on board. We have a Cosworth system that allows all the data to be stored into the system as I'm running. It monitors engine temperature, RPM, fuel flow, even measures throttle position. It's, so there are many things that once I get back in that Scott is able to take the chip out of the computer, plug into his computer, laptop computer in, to, in the truck, and he can see what the boat's doing to see if he needs to make any adjustments. This be in my office, uh, take a special interest in how it's designed and built. It is a safety cell. The purpose is when I'm strapped into it that no matter what happens to the boat, um, I'm supposed to, it's supposed to keep me safe. It's, it's made of a roll cage chrome molly material carbon fiber and it's been pressure tested, impact tested to withstand anything that might possibly happen. Yesterday we started forming a new seat. Uh, last year, the last race of the year, the seat that I ride in, it's a custom made seat, was broken so I flew out this year to uh, get a new seat made, make sure I fit in there nice and tight and have no issues. The seat is made of a, a two-part epoxy that it's kind of a unique design. You take a plastic bag actually and you set in the bottom where you are going to sit. Uh, I have to be seated in the boat and then we mix the two-part epoxy and pour it in the bag and it creates the, a foam area around me that surrounds my body and makes everything fit right to my form. Peters and May race team continues to get ready for the 2016 Unlimited Hydroplane race season. Watch for the next episode.